Hey y'all, this your girl Creole Shawty Tarot coming at you with another video. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. So take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I give this message on today. Please allow me to be the channel and provide Taurus with clear and honest messages. What it is Taurus need to know. Okay. So we have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, masculine energy could be significant. We also have the Four of Swords. So um, what I'm getting, Taurus, is you could be taking a break from this King of Swords. Or you have put something to rest. We have the high priestess, all right? So your intuition could be telling you that it's time to end something with someone. Yeah, six of pentacles. So, um... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy could also be significant here. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart. Heavy on the Pisces energy. Um, it looks like you're putting something to rest. So that you can focus on something else. Yeah, it could be a family dynamic here with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be you also putting something to rest or know that it's time to put something to rest when it comes to certain family members. But we have the Eight of Wands here. So something could be happening real quick. This Queen of Cups could be doing something real quick. We had a two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could be you feeling like you need to take some type of fast action towards this queen of cups if you want things to be balanced and work out. All right. I definitely feel like your intuition is talking to you at this time. Yeah. It's like something is stopping this connection from coming together with this uh, knight of pentacles in between the two of cups and the lovers with the chariot here. Yeah. So it's like um something here has the potential to be something successful. But something is stopping you in your tracks. Knight of Cups. So there could be another offer around you. Maybe you're trying to, you know, decide which offer you're going to go with. All right, I'm seeing Aquarius, double Pisces. Then we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, I mean Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn or somebody has Capricorn in their chart. Will of Fortune. Yeah, so I feel like somebody is coming in offering you something. This could be money. This could be something that is considered some sort of good luck and fortune. But um, I just feel like uh, something here has been on your mind or been grabbing your attention. I feel like it's this Queen of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Cups here. So, yeah, somebody is trying to create some type of illusion is what I'm getting. And I feel like it's because they know that you're more so focused or moving towards this Queen of Cups. So, you know that you should offer something to this Queen of Cups or this Pisces. Yep, we got the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Wands. Somebody is trying to create a blockage. Could be a Virgo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. There's some type of illusion of facade that is being placed around a situation that is due to bring a lot of wealth, all right? Harmony, balance within a situation, a lot of good luck and fortune, all right? But I feel like whoever this is, they don't want you to have this good luck and fortune with this person, yeah, because it's like a new opportunity is right before your eyes. But what are you going to do? Because it looks like it's a good one with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, then we have the princess of cups, yeah. So something is about to start flowing in. 
And if you don't make the right decision, it seems like uh, you may miss out on something major here. Something powerful with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. You could be dragging your feet with a situation is what I'm seeing. Or trying to buy time. Yeah, you're being advised to move forward. Move towards whatever this is with the chariot. Cancer energy could be significant as well. Hangman, all right? So something could be going on with your transportation is what I'm also getting with the chariot and the hangman. This could be what's preventing you from moving towards this uh, Pisces or this, um, this Cancer. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. With the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like, um, if you have friction with someone in the past, it looks like that friction is over with. But it's like something here is still preventing you from moving forward. And I just feel like it's due to this confusion or illusions. Somebody trying to come in and offer you something just because they know that something else is being offered to you. Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands with the Blasted Tower here. All right. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Feminine Energy could be significant. This could be somebody that you juggling somebody else with. But nothing is going to come from that situation. It's going to end up being a tower here. All right. We have the Blasted Tower, the Magician and Emperor. So I'm seeing something about like domination spells or something like that. Somebody is trying to control the situation and their movements. Somebody's movement. Somebody is trying to control somebody's movement. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, could be a um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine that you could have left behind. But we have the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, you could have been trying to leave this person behind for a family with the Ten of Cups right behind that. We have the Three of Pentacles and then we have the Ace of Swords. So that's the truth. You told this Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo that you was going to be um, leaving them behind, going towards your family here to work things out. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. All right. Then we got the Five of Wands. So it's like somebody is not liking this news. So therefore, this is why they're trying to prevent you from moving forward by possibly messing with your transportation or something like that. Holy Spirit, what is the overall message and advice for my Taurus? I place the future in the hands of God. A healed mind does not plan. It carries out the plans that it receives through listening to wisdom that is not of its own. So it looks like you've been definitely seeking um, guidance from um, God, higher power, whatever you believe in. But uh, yeah, somebody here is not healed. Therefore, they're creating plans to cause delays and blockages for you. But meanwhile, I feel like your intuition, all right, your discernment is telling you that it's time for you to move towards something. But only know, only God knows what the future holds. But that's what I have for you, Taurus. And until next time, bye.